What is up guys? I'm gonna take you through a full day of eating round two. Let's go. Calories have dropped since last time, so I'm gonna take, show you a full day of eating right now. Okay guys, here's my part of my meal. One, we have uh, 276 grams of egg whites with some chives on it. Here's the second part of my breakfast. It's a bowl of oatmeal, 65 grams. And in it, I will show you exactly what it puts. Pink Himalayan salt. This vanilla cream stevia drops in it. Sugar-free, butter-flavored, low-calorie syrup. It has no calories, like two calories per a lot. So, and that's how I make my oatmeal in the morning. It's super good, honestly. With the salt, it makes it five times better. All right guys, so we're gonna make my meal number three right now, but my meal number three is actually the same as two, so even though I don't even record the second one, it's the same thing. The only reason why I didn't record the second one was because I just bought this air fryer, right? And um, it's safe to say, I burnt my potatoes in my first one, so we're gonna try this again, and uh, let's see how it comes out this time. I'm gonna put it in for half the time that I did last time, so. Cut up my potato. This is 160 grams of potato. And literally, I'm not gonna even use oil or anything. We're just gonna flop it in there. And then put that in there. Let's see. Then I fit that. And then you fries. I want less time. Because that would break the crap out of it. Let's try 10 minutes. We should. And then gonna start by itself. Alright, perfect. Ground turkey, I just, I literally, so for this, I have like a pre-made, and I just put in the, like, what's called microwave. I don't go really fancy with my meals, guys. I was gonna do like, you know, like, make fancy meals, but like, I'm being just super real and honest with you what I eat. Um, so for this turkey breast, when I'm dieting, I like to cut it up in very thin pieces because it lasts me longer. And then we got yeah, <laughs> the overcooked potato. So we got the air cooked potato wedges. I just like to be really, like I really like to pack everything to be as precise as possible. Um, it's just for my own peace of mind. So I usually do around 50 grams of baby spinach. Let's see, 30 grams. I have this big bag from Costco. 47. Yeah, screw it. Up. Okay. Okay, that's, yeah, wait, ooh, that's actually 42. I misread that. And, like, honestly, guys, I really advocate. Okay, there we go. 50 grams of baby spinach. So, this is my meal. And I want to put some almond butter. I know this sounds weird, but almond butter on the potato is so good. This is my meal number two and three 50 grams of baby spinach, 160 grams of. Uh, air fried uh, potato, <laughs> can't speak, and then we have a hundred, oh I'm sorry, about six ounces of ground, not ground, too. oh my god. Okay guys, so we have 50 grams of baby spinach here, uh, 160 grams of air fried potato, white, and six ounces of turkey breast, and for the fat source I put some almond butter on the potatoes. This is my meal, I put about two to three grams of salt on each meal and this covers my second and third carb meal. I like the potato over the rice because I just feel like you can eat more and the potato has a lot of potassium so it just helps you keep you like pretty much regular and stuff which is honestly a big problem when you're dieting. So that's why I really like white potato and as far as like the sweet potato, it just doesn't sit well in my stomach that's why I don't do it. Um, but sweet potato is a great option too if you can handle it. So yeah, this is my meal two and three. I'll put the macros up next to it. Here's my part one of my last meal with the carb. We have decaf coffee and the same thing as meal one, um, 270 grams of egg whites and put some chives on it. And I'll show you the oatmeal next because I like to eat this first. And you'll see that the oatmeal is kind of runny right now. 
my purpose is to do that because as I'm eating the eggs, um, the oatmeal is sucking up all the water that I put it in, so it's gonna like you know, to be a lot more volume bang for your buck. So this is my last carb meal, and I'll put on the macros on the side. So pretty much, if you haven't noticed yet, all my carb meals, um, pretty much all my meals have the exact same protein and fat intake, and all my carb meals had the same carb intake. So I like to really spread everything evenly throughout the day. And here's part two of my last carb meal of the day. It's the same thing as so oats. Now you might be wondering, it looks really soupy right now, and yes it is, but you have to understand, I purposely do that because I like to use a lot of water, but you have to understand oats, cream of rice, cream of wheat, these are all carbs that soak up the water. So if you leave this sitting here for like 10 to 15 minutes, it's gonna soak up that water and actually gonna thicken a lot. So that's why I do this actually. So you can actually get a lot more volume when you're dieting and that's why I do that. So it looks very watery right now, but I'll show you once it's thickened up what it looks like. Okay, as you can see, it's thickened up a lot. Now if you like your oatmeal super, super thick, this is probably not your way of doing it, but you can see like it has quite a bit of thickness to it now that I let it sit for a little bit. So this is part two of my last carb meal here, and this is my meal four out of five. This is my last meal of the day. It's 150 grams of beef sirloin with a little bit of protein just to get my protein in for the meal, which is 45 grams, and the um, fat goes within the meal. So this is the last meal of the day. Here's the macros inside, and that's it. Good night.